Hey, Captain Ross Robertson here. And you know, spinners are kind of my favorite thing to do because I have so much confidence in them. And I've caught just thousands on thousands of fish and specifically walleyes on them through the years. And really, you can buy a lot of decent harnesses, but you really got to tie your own to get the ultimate. And it really starts with the line itself. Like I'm using Sunline FC Structure. It's actually a line made for, you know, jig and pig and things like that with, with bass guys. In tying these, it's going to be a little bit stiffer. They're going to tangle less and they're going to have really a lot of it's good backbone because if you have any wear and tear, any abrasion, it's a bad deal. So then we're going down to the beads, which are really kind of like spacers. You know, I want just enough that that's going to be able to, to not touch my front hook. Clevis wise, I use a lot of different things. This one happens to be a Dutch fork, uh, kind of a folding little clev clevis there, but it's quick change so I can take those blades in and out. But aside from the line, kind of the, the meat and potatoes of a good spinner rig are the hooks. And I use different things depending on the speed, but this is a number two octopus gamagatsu. Really, really just a great all around hook. And when I'm going slower, I prefer a little treble trail around there. It's a number eight gamagatsu treble. These things are just lightning, lightning sharp. And the next thing is, is actually hooking the worm itself. You know, going through just the tip, this is another really, really important part of a crawler harness, the structure itself. And then stretching that separate second worm there and hooking it in so you've got that thing and when that goes down you're not going to have it twisting up in the water simple little things like that will make sure that you're a much better spinner fisherman